Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. Have you ever wondered why sometimes you get 3D printed parts like this? Very bad, right? Let's scratch today's troubleshoot. The other day, I tried to print this. This is PLA, flexible PLA. I tried printing this with my K1 Max, and I got this result. I was wondering, why in the world would I get this kind of result? When the K1 Max can print so many materials from ASA, ABS, PP, and nylon, but why can't it print flexible PLA? It can print TPU perfectly fine. I was wondering, why is this happening? And then so I realized that I printed this huge giganti funnel for my car. Doing oil changes. And I realized that, oh, this is PETG carbon fiber. Then I remembered that, oh, carbon fiber is abrasive. And on the cable max, I have a brass nozzle. And people say that, Carbon fiber is a lot thicker than just normal filament and it's abrasive so it's recommended that you have a hardened steel nozzle and I printed with the brass nozzle and this is the results afterward I get this results afterward and then I search around my room I cannot find any replacement nozzle for the KMAX because I don't think I had ever bought them so I got these today I got myself some hardened steel for the cable max well these aren't even like whoa cool stuff like that there's 0 0.4 0 0.6 and 0.8 millimeters nozzle for the cable max but this one look at this this one is only one nozzle and guess how much it costs this one costs 60 dollars oh my gosh dude, my bank account is like shoot huh please subscribe to the channel this is a diamond nozzle so let's unbox this or let's just open this Ooh, look at this it comes in a very fancy box look at that wow first time I bought a nozzle this expensive what am I doing with my life now <laughs> but it comes with a really nice case oh, it's very stuck in there <gasps> there we go oh, I almost ruined the nozzle but it's grown in there oh my gosh don't drop it Wow, look at this. The nozzle is brass. This is a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. And right there, that's the diamond part that's gonna be making contact with the bed. And the reason why I bought 0.8 millimeter nozzle is that the Kill Max is a huge 3D printer. So most of the time, I'm gonna be printing bigger stuff on the Kill Max. And most of the time, I crank up my printing settings 0 0.3, 0 0.35. So I decided to get a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. So that I can print PDG, carbon fiber, carbon fiber, fiberglass, more abrasive filaments and make the layer line a little bit thicker because most of the time I don't really go for detailed printing. I leave that for the Cobra 3. Yeah, that's the reason why I got a 0.8 millimeter diamond nozzle for the K1 Max. Uh, just, we just gotta take a look at this again. It just looks so beautiful. Look at that. It's diamond. Oh my gosh. First time I got something diamond in my life. Oh, this is so amazing. <laughs> Enough with that. Let's go to the Kill Max, unscrew it, and let's take a look at the nozzle. And then I'm gonna be putting in the new nozzle. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna be taking off this silicone first before heating this thing up. I should have bought some replacement for the silicone too, but when I look at it, it looks pretty good. Okay, heating up the nozzle to 230 degrees. Celsius. Oh, and by the way, when the nozzle is really wear off, you put a filament, it just drool like a lot. It drools a lot because it has shed off so much materials. I think it's making the hole bigger and then it just drool. Let's try this key and see if it works. Oh, there we go. It fits perfectly. I think, yep, I can just do it like this. I don't need to hold the heater block for the K1 Max. It's or for the micro Swiss hot end because it's already really secure. Oh my gosh, it's hot. The heat transfers so fast. Why is it so long? Wait, is, is there gonna be a problem? All right, I got the micro Swiss one. I forgot. Ah, uh, is it gonna fit now? I don't know. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, I forgot that. I got the micro Swiss hot end in my K1 Max. So this new nozzle <laughs> that I just bought is not going to be compatible. This right here is the micro Swiss and this is the original K1 Max nozzle. And this is the original K1 Max nozzle that 
comes with a 3D printer. And when I take off the screw, it looks like that. The same as that one, but for the Micro Swiss one, it's so much different. It's longer, smaller, and yeah, it has this tube at the top. So if I want to use this, I need to use the original hardened for the KO Max. This is our Discord. So, um, think I did not realize that you know. So when I was taking that, I was like, wait, is this compatible? So I message um him. Do you know if normal KO Max hardened works with Micro Swiss? He said it does, but there's two versions for the original one, and for the KO Max, which is like the K1C. And then I sent him this message and he gave me this thing. So if you look here, it's this one. And then he said that the nozzle for the original is like this. And then these kinds are like for the Micro Swiss and the newer version. So I was like, oh, so it's not gonna be compatible. And if you haven't yet joined the Discord, it's amazing. The community here is amazing. And we can take a look at this. Look at that. The Micro Swiss one. We can see that. There is basically no life left. Look at that. You can see that there's a little nozzle coming out. Same with the diving one. But for this one, it's just completely flat. And yeah, this thing basically has no life left by printing this piece carbon fiber. It has wear out so much that I don't think it's a 0.4 anymore. It's just drooling out. So I'm just like, yeah, hey, you know what? I'm just going to replace it. So. I think yeah, I'm gonna put in the original hot end. It works similarly with the micro squares. It's just that I don't know. Maybe it's better, but I'm gonna try this for a while. And if it's not good, I'm gonna go back to the micro squares. And I think I might get their diamond block. The flow tag from micro Swiss diamond block is one hundred twenty-five dollar plus tax and shipping maybe. So it's a one hundred twenty-five dollar nozzle. It's so expensive. This one is only fifty dollars. Guess more expensive means more quality, high quality. I don't know. Um, if it's not gonna work, I might as well just buy this thing. Quick nozzle change turn into a full disassemble. Wow. And I hate disassembling the cable max. There is just so much screw to take off from the cable max. I'm just gonna quickly do it. It's not like a tutorial anymore. Let's use these instead of those. These have the bald end, so it's gonna be so much easier to do. One screw, pick up the LiDAR, and take up this hidden screw down here. This is the exact reason why I hate disassembling the K1 Max hotnet. I wish it would just be pushed like the Cobra 3. Okay, so now we can pop this thing out. Take off the LiDAR and then pop this thing out. Just gonna detach it. That is still hot. Dude, there's two bolts. If you want a full tutorial, you can go watch my Micro Swiss installation. And then two. There we go. Brass thing down here that needs to be taken off. Oh, there you go. It's very easy to take it off. Because on the Kill Max, it's attached. Okay, let's put it in there. Let's screw it in. Now I'm just going to be plugging these two in back. This one goes here. Why did they put it such a tight spot here, man? Oh, there we go. Time to install this diamond block. Diamond nozzle. Yeah, look at that. It goes in very smoothly. There we go. Use this thing to tie it up. There we go. I don't want to over tighten it because it might ruin the thread. I did that one time. So, learn my lesson. Just heat it up to 230. And now I'm just gonna tighten this a little bit more. There we go. That, that's good enough. That is good enough. Turn it off. It's heating well. It's reading the temperature. So, everything is working. I'm gonna turn it off and then reassemble everything and turn it back on. Do some printing. First time heating anything that is new up, always get this burnt smell. Hopefully, I don't burn myself. Should wait until it's warm. Cool down, but it's like me. <laughs> do the patience. So, I don't think it's supposed to look like that, but <laughs> I don't know, man. Plug in the fan, plug in the LiDAR. Let's see how this time it works. I think I will have to change so many settings on 
Marka slicers and have to do so much tweaking, tuning, and stuff like that. But I won't bore you guys with those stuff. I'll just do it on my own term and maybe make an update video in the future if there's like significantly enough stuff to talk about. I need a new extruder for my Kill Max 2 because <laughs> the lever is broken. I shredded the thread on this lever or the extruder and now it's not unlocking. It will lock but it's not gonna unlock. Let's see if it, eh, there we go. It comes out so thick. <laughs> it's dripping, wow. I guess that's how 0.8 millimeter works, huh? That is so much. The other nozzle did not stop because it's wear out so much that filament just keep drooling. It worked, let's go. Okay, I think this might be a little bit different, but it's fine. The hot end did not work. It was kind of a fail because I totally forgot that the hot end and the micro swiss is totally different from the original nozzle that the KO Max come with. And I bought the wrong nozzle, but luckily I still have a spare of the KO Max original nozzle. And I just put that in as you saw in that process. I have not messed around with the KO Max for a long time now, so I don't really know much about the KO Max anymore. I feel like I have done all the things that I want to do with the KO Max, like adding the 270 door hinge, adding a top razor, rooting the KO Max, messing with the G-Code and all that stuff, and installing Micro Swiss hot end for the KO Max. I did kind of stop messing around with the KO Max, but since the nozzle has worked out, I decided to buy myself a diamond one. And I think this diamond one will last a very long time because it's very resistant. I saw some video testing and diamond is really, really resistant. So I don't think any filament is going to take this diamond down because diamond has a hardness of level 10. So that's very good. But that be it for this video of me buying a diamond hot end for the KO Max is a 0.8 millimeter nozzle. I'll leave a link down below if you are interested and you have the original hot end from the KO Max. But if you have a different type of nozzle like a unicorn style or the micro Swiss style, then it's not gonna work. You gotta buy a different type of nozzle. But that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and as always, keep on 3D printing.